So I want to speak to you a little bit about when it might be appropriate to go see a therapist. I think this is a question that a lot of people are confused about and have some misconceptions about, and hopefully I can clear some of those up for you. My name is Dr. Sonia, and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist with over 10 years of experience. And I've worked with people of all ages on smaller issues and bigger issues. And I think that's one of the most important points is that sometimes we all need a little bit of help in life. And it doesn't have to be that your whole world is falling down before you seek the help of somebody for that outside clinical professional perspective. So I recently had the pleasure of working with somebody who graduated from therapy. They did quite well and they were talking about a friend of theirs who had also had a recent struggle with a life issue and that friend was saying, I don't know if I'm sick enough to see a therapist. And I think this is one of the most common misconceptions that people have about therapy, is that you have to have a serious problem or a really big problem in order to seek help. And the truth is, licensed counselors can help you with a variety of things that happen in life. You know, sometimes some of the things that we perceive as positive are still stressful. For example, getting married for a lot of people is the happiest thing that happens to them. Preparing for a marriage, however, can be one of the most stressful things. So seeking help for things like that can be equally important as seeking help for typical mental health conditions that people think of like anxiety and depression. As a licensed counselor and more importantly as a human, I've always wondered why we wait until the last possible moment to seek help for the things that we're struggling with. And I really like this idea that's beginning to emerge about emotional wellness. You know, we go to our primary care doc every year and get a physical and a checkup just to make sure that everything's okay. And I think that we really need to start to have the same mentality towards mental health and mental health issues. Why not be proactive and deal with the problems that are arising before they get to a crisis point? Why not check in with a licensed professional to make sure that everything is on the right track or to maximize your potential or to evaluate your strengths versus waiting until something's really going wrong? A great place to start exploring this idea of mental wellness and seeking help for the smaller life issues that arise is through online counseling. And the reason why is because online counseling is pretty convenient, accessible, and affordable. And so it's something where you can kind of dip your toe into the world of counseling and see if it's something that might be helpful or beneficial to you without having to go through the process of, you know, talking to your insurance company and finding a therapist to go see and taking the time off of work. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find a lot more content on a variety of mental health topics. And if you're interested in learning more about online counseling, please click the link to betterhelp.com below.